all right guys so today i'm going to make this pumpkin pie um i'm sorry pumpkin cheesecake um so it's like half pumpkin and half regular cheesecake um and these are the ingredients so sugar cream cheese pumpkin spice okay pumpkin puree not pumpkin pie um this thing in can it's just puree make sure it's puree eggs and a crust um i also will put like um you can do your own crust with the graham crackers and it, you will just need butter and the graham crackers and you will mix that together okay but i'm making a small one so this is my ingredients two things of cream cheese soften okay and then sugar pumpkin spice pumpkin puree two eggs and this crust okay all right so we're gonna start by putting the two soften things of cream cheese and then we're gonna do two one fourth cup um of sugar so it should be like that and we're gonna do this with a hand mixer until all of it is mixed and smooth okay so you want everything to be nice and mixed and i'll come back when i show you how it's supposed to look all right so you can leave it at two of uh, the two one fourth cups or i just added one more so that made it three the reason that i put it is because i kind of know the taste of it so um i like it a little bit on the sweeter side so this is why i put one more but if you don't want it too sweet make just put the two of them okay um so this has to be really creamy fluffy and light okay before you start putting the rest of the ingredients in there all right so at this point it should be about like this nice and fluffy and light you know um i can mix it a little bit longer um but i won't i like this this texture so this is what i'm going to use it for so now we're going to put in the eggs we're going to do one at a time it's two eggs okay and we're going to beat one at a time once that one is nice and mixed then we put in the second one okay if you're using um hand mixer this is the way i i use a hand mixer i use these paddles um but if you do if you have um the stand-up mixers um you i mean you use your paddle and do it in low speed so i did low speed um and then i did two minutes of second speed so the, the second speed up but do not do it in your really fast speed okay uh because then that's just got to kind of harden it up okay guys so that's how you're gonna do it all right guys so i forgot to tell you start your preheat your oven at 300 degrees before starting to do this okay so as you see we're gonna mix this so it's all nice and smooth in there okay And I'm doing low speed, guys, okay? So do it in your low speed. Now I'm going to add the second egg, and I'm going to do the rest of the mixing, okay? So you're only going to mix it until it is mixed in there. Not, Don't mix it for longer than that, okay? And then we're going to have, like, about this consistency. That's how it should be. Now we're going to pour half of it into the uh, pan. Only half of it because um, if you're going to do the pumpkin puree with it, only half if you want just this you can add a little tiny of vanilla flavoring in there a vanilla abstract and then bake it that's it that that's your vanilla cheesecake but if not if you're going to do the pumpkin one then you do half of the mixture into the pan and then the other half we're going to do we're going to add the rest of the ingredients okay all right so i like a little bit of this one but i can put more on this one but i like more of the pumpkin flavor so that's why i left a little bit more but definitely do half of it for your first time do the half and then when you you'll know which flavor you like more you'll do your two separate um depending how thick you want it which one you want more of okay so this is what i'm gonna do right now and then we're gonna start doing the pumpkin all right guys so the puree you're gonna put half a cup of puree okay just like that on there so you can tell i remember what the, it's not pumpkin pie mix it is 
puree, pumpkin puree, okay? So it should look like this, all right? And then to that, you're gonna add one teaspoon of the pumpkin spice uh, seasoning. And then you're going to use the whisk and you're gonna whisk this together until it's nice and mixed all together, okay? And then you're gonna pour this on the top layer of your cheesecake. <laughs> so, just to let you guys know, this is the first time I actually make it in a smaller batch because um, as you guys, some of you guys know, I used to do a really big and that was like for a bigger batch so I, I'm basically doing half of everything so if you're gonna do a big one like the one I used to make then double it because um, I'm literally putting half of everything in there all right and that looks about mixed and then you're just gonna grab your tray and pour it on top Well, so with that being said, honestly, I don't know how this is going to come out. So I'm hoping it comes out as the other one. But um, I mean, I think so. It looks the same. So do it at your own risk, guys. If you're a baker, you probably know how to do these measurements differently. But all right. And then smooth it all right so for those people that never tried this cheesecake that i've made before i know helping hands have tried it many times so um this is a pan you buy at the store i don't know what's the measurement on this one but this is what i usually do it in which is 2.5 quarts okay so it's quite a difference of size okay so um and this one's a little bit, has a little bit more depth in it, okay? So the, the recipe calls for 50 minutes in the oven. Um, since this is a smaller one, I'm going to do it for half the time. And then I'm going to check it. And I'll show you guys. If by that time this is set, then we'll take it out at that time and I'll let you know. But I'm not going to try to do it at 50 minutes. I'm going to try doing it half or about three quarters of the time of that. Um, so I will probably so it goes in the center um, in the middle rack okay center rack right in the middle uncovered and I put already the timer so I put it at 35 minutes I'll check it at 35 minutes if it isn't cooked by then then I'm gonna add it to 45 minutes and then if it needs it then I'll do the 50 minutes completely um, and then once this is done I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to record it but in case I don't when it's set which i'm going to show you that you're going to turn off the oven leave that in there for about an hour i want to say or until it's cooled off but inside the oven and you're going to leave the door ajar so that's how it does it okay all right guys we'll be back then all right guys so the minutes already passed i did ended up putting it at 50 minutes so this is how it should look and then now i already turned off the oven and now um, i'm just gonna leave it here i'm gonna leave it open like that for one hour until it cools off then we're gonna refrigerate it at least for three hours it needs to be refrigerated um so once this is done after an hour i'm gonna put it in the fridge and after three hours you can enjoy it all right guys so i hope you guys liked it if you have any questions let me know um or if any ideas or anything just uh, send me a message all right bye guys i'll be posting this in youtube and i'll do a briefing in my tiktok so if you guys haven't followed me there you guys follow me there the links are all on my instagram and the youtube channel all right bye all right so i didn't get to film the final but we ended up getting into the into this um cheesecake my husband and i last night so this is how it should look which i guess is good you guys get to see the inside of it anyway so you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it okay um and i hope you guys try it out let me know how it comes out for you if you have any questions of any other ingredients just let me know okay 
Um, all right. Bye.